All right, number six asks us to match each representation with the appropriate measure of variability. And so we have two measures of variability. One of them is standard deviation. And we calculate this by measuring the measuring the distances the distances from all of the points to the middle of the data, right? And so this uses all of the points. Okay. And then we have interquartile range. And interquartile ranges uses the middle 50% of data. Okay. And so you're only using the middle 50% to determine the variability. Um, and, the re and the ways that we would use these, when we would use these. All right, so when I have a symmetric data set, <clears throat> so that's it, something that looks like this. All right, I would use the standard deviation, right? Because the distance, the distance to the middle is always pretty, is, uh, pretty predictable. Right, and so if I if I if I use all of the points in this calculation, right, I'm going to get a really really good sense of of how spread out the data is from the middle, and it's going to use all of the numbers. So I use this. I use standard deviation when I've got a symmetric data set. When I can cut the middle in half, and the left side is a mirror image of the right hand side or close to it. Okay. So I use standard deviation for symmetric data sets. And so that's what you're gonna look for in this set is you're looking for all of the different <clears throat> graphs that you could cut in half or the representations that you can cut in half where the left side looks like a mirror image of the right hand side. Say I've got a skewed distribution. So I've got data all the way over here, right? This is what we call skewed, right? I cut it in half and the left side does not look like the right-hand side. Well, what happens with, uh, so how does this affect the spread? Well, because I've got one point or I've got a couple points that are so far away from the middle and I'm using all of the points in this calculation, it's gonna show that most of the data is more spread out than it actually is. And so standard deviation isn't gonna be appropriate for this because it's gonna show me that the, that the points are more spread out than they actually are. Because here I only have, in this example, I only have one point that's not, uh, that's not consistent with the other points, okay, to determine the skew. Well, if I've got a big standard deviation, that's telling you that, you know, that there's a lot of distance between the middle and these points, even though that's really not the case. And so in this case, we would take a look at the middle 50% of data. I got four, eight, 10, I got 10 values. So <coughs> five and five and 2.5. So I'm gonna look at the middle 50% of data. So I'm just gonna look at this middle and I'm gonna see how spread out is this middle, right? I'm gonna find the distance here. This is called the interquartile range, right? In a box plot, the box plot of this data would look something like this, okay? And by using the interquartile range, by only looking at the middle 50%, what I'm really looking at is I'm saying, hey, where most of the data is, how spread out is it, okay? And so for skewed data, I would use the interquartile range. And so when you're trying to differentiate between these two, when you've got symmetric data, you know, then it would make sense to use all of the all of the points that you have in that calculation, okay? Because that's going to give you an accurate representation of how far all the points are from the from the data. But when you've got a skewed distribution, right? A skewed distribution is going to make it seem like the point that all of the points are further away from the center than they actually are. And so, in the case of a skewed distribution, we use an interquartile range in order to give us a more accurate representation of how spread out. The, the points are from the middle. We just look at those middle 50% of, of, uh, of data in order to kind of determine that, okay? So uh, symmetric data set, you're looking for standard deviation. Skewed, you're looking for interquartile range.